Make Boss do Bam here, stitching between the lines. Um, quick, quick, quick update. It really has to be quick because I don't have a lot of time today. I'm leaving tomorrow to go to Florida. So my real mission today is um, just to show my progress on pieces that are being put aside until I get out, until I'm back. Um, and I'm taking Christmas winter sampler to Florida with me, which I wasn't going to do, but I really need to see some progress on that one. Um, it's big and having four big pieces, I don't wanna start a fifth, which is what I have in Florida is another big piece that I left there unstarted. So anyway, I have um, where I'm going to um, take a break on um, Early Americans. So I have that. I just finished, put the last stitches in Betsy Ross this morning my intent, you know, because you say your intentions, you do them or you don't do them, was to do each, in between doing each block, I was going to work on a winter sampler. Um, kind of got out of sync a little bit because I'd started John Hancock a little bit. And then I decided, once I decided I was taking the winter sampler to Florida, I decided just to finish the top row. I really would have liked to have finished, um, you know, the first block in the next row. But time, 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 time. It's always time. You can only stitch so fast. So there it is. I'm using all this called four colors with the exception of, I explained last time how I was using the wrong green. I was using Weeks Dye Works Moss instead of Crescent Colors Mossy. And that was just a mistake on my part. I didn't have any Mossy. I have a lot of Moss and that's the little baggie I picked. So it's fine. It's all working well. I'm delighted to see that the middle panel, the fifth block, um, is not a house. Yay! It's a little patriotic flag on a hillside, I think. Um, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. Uh, and then I got Years Let Freedom Ring as my other stitching, other stitching chair focus piece. Reminder what it looks like. <laughs> It's hard for me to see it at the same time I'm showing you. Um, my first phase, I did the clock tower and the little widow's walk fence thing up there. And then I had started on the roof. And then I did a page of my of heaven and earth design. And then I was going to do some other part. I wanted to get windows started. I want to do windows in between everything I do. Um, and then I was going to go back and do another page of heaven and earth. Uh, I am at a point now where I will stop with what I've stitched on here, and when I come back from Florida, I'll get out the Heaven and Earth design, presumably. That's the plan right here and now, today, uh, the 27th, Thursday the 27th. So anyway, oh, the other thing is, is I talked about a frame. This is, I've had this doodle frame, I think it's called doodle lap frame, for a long time. But it doesn't sit on my lap. It's too far away from my face when I'm using it and the stretcher bars, it just, it wasn't working. The stretcher bars that I got with it originally were wider than my lap. So these are 30 inch, which I bought because they will stretch and sit on the arms of my lazy boy. And that all works pretty well. Currently it's working pretty well because I'm working basically in the center. I'm not sure how to work when I have to scoot way over. But anyway, here it is, I did the roof. Let's get a good look. I did the roof, I did the top row of windows, and just, I had some um, of the red in the thread and I just kept going. I may, tonight is one more stitching night before I leave, um, you know, carry some more rows of red because there's that middle, let's look, the middle section, oops, of, I don't know what you call them, decorative bricks that runs between the sets of windows. So the windows really, this phase of windows were not horrible to do. Haha, <laughs> let's say that again after I've done like window number 238. So anyway, that's where I am on those. And progress, I'm putting that away. I didn't, it's in my suitcase already, so I didn't bring the winter sampler. It really doesn't have any progress above and beyond what I showed in my last video. So anyway, Besides not having a lot of time, I have somewhere to go and I've already um, <clears throat> adjusted the time that I'm meeting some people, so <laughs> I don't have a lot of time. 
I wanted to do this though before I went and do it in 15 minutes so I can upload it on my iPad because that's the other thing. It took me an entire week to upload that last video. Last time I talked about how long it's been taking me and it was, I don't know if it was just dumb stupid luck that I managed to have two videos in a row that I uploaded without incident. Granted, it took 24 to 30 hours for each of them. Uh, this one, last time I taped was between those two in length. So after 20 hours, it was like 65% uploaded and we had a thunderstorm and we lost internet. So there went that. And so I tried it like three more times that evening. We lost internet or I don't know, my, my husband went and reset the internet one of the times. Oh, I know the computer because it had been shut off unceremoniously needed. I, when I turned it back on and tried to upload it again, it needed to run its scan and it needed to do its automatic shutdown. And because I wasn't babysitting it, it did that without me, um, <laughs> there to tell it not to do it. So then, you know, some hours go by where I don't even look at the computer and then discover it's been shut off. So anyway, I went to our local grocery store, which is really fabulous and has a really nice cafe, and sat there for two hours while it uploaded it. It uploaded in two hours, which seemed reasonable, and then it starts the processing. It does three things. It prepares the video, it uploads it, and then it processes it. The uploading is what takes a really long time, and it got 2% pro processed, which was pretty quick right in the beginning, and then I got a message that said the server rejected it or... YouTube rejected the server. It was kind of hard to interpret, but it was something like rejected by the server. So maybe my really nice grocery store cafe isn't encouraging people to come in and upload YouTube videos. I don't know. That could very well be possible. Uh, so then I went, I went to the library. They have the same kind of internet I do. I went to my church because I had to do some paperwork and tried there. Ha ha, stupid me. Same internet that we have here. Um, I went to two coffee shops that same day that I went to the church. So I tried to, okay. So then I went to two, one Tim Hortons and then another local coffee shop. And both times it took a half hour just to get 10% up. And when I was sitting in the second coffee shop, I heard somebody yell from the back room, what's wrong with this internet? Is it raining out there? And the inner, they were trying, it had just opened and I think they were trying to turn on the internet radio they use. I knew I was in trouble. I knew they were going to do a reset or something. So I clicked out. Then the radio came on. I knew that was never going to work. So back home, tried some more from home, and it got a, it got aborted after like a lot of a long time. So over the weekend, it's done. It's not going to happen over the weekend here. And then on Monday. I had somewhere to go that has good internet, but I couldn't stay long enough. So I went to, um, thank heavens for Starbucks. I went to Starbucks. I used my phone of all things. It's an iPhone I would never have imagined, but I was reading online again and it talked about, there's a difference when you are on your, let's just say an iPad. I'm just going to say an iPad and you say, send this picture or video or wherever you you're at the picture or video and you're saying send to and it gets a whole list and you say YouTube and you've logged in it already knows you and it starts and then it fails it's usually what happens it starts out just like it's and then it fails or it tells you right away it's too long um, and then or you can log into YouTube and go and say upload a video and then you go and you point out which video you want to upload. And I was reading online and I've done it all ways, all different ways, but online it talked about doing it from YouTube. I don't remember, but I thought maybe it really will work from my phone. Now, that 34 minute video is about all my phone could handle. So anyway, I'm trying. It took a week, but it went up um, from Starbucks. Yay, Starbucks. But at 95% uploaded, I, you know, I had my phone, I'm reading a book, and I kept clicking on the phone to see its progress. At 95%, it said upload failed. And I quick pushed the retry button, and it w immediately picked up from the 95% spot. So thank heavens, because that was almost two hours in. I think I would have, I don't know what I would have done. Anyway, so we're keeping this to 15 minutes, and I'm going to show this thing just out of interest, and here's the deal. Well, this is the tag off of the fabric, so we can see what it is. It's a piece of Belfast, 32 count Amsterdam blue, which was the recommended fabric for one of the Mirabilia's um, mermaids 
that I plan to do. I only have one pattern for one more made. So anyway, it, I got the recommended fabric and I did not like it. So let me see if I can show. I'm gonna try to show the fabric just now. Because you're getting to see what I'm gonna talk about. Here's the thing, the fabric was ugly to start with. So we're not fooling anybody, it was ugly to start with and it's even uglier now. What I wanted to do was try some dyeing and I wanted to lighten it with some tan to put some like tan streakies in it or whatever. So I had, was thinking about it and thinking about it and somebody did, I saw somebody do some ice dyeing online on a floss tube and they put the ice on it, they wet it, put it on a little rack over the sink, put some ice on it and then sprinkled the powdered dye, writ dye on it. Well, powdered writ dye, there was no way I was using that. I Powdered writ dye, as my kids who work at summer camps will say, is evil. It'll leave splotches. So I don't know if it did or didn't on this fabric she dyed because then she ended up sticking the whole entire piece in a, in some dye because she didn't like how it came out. So I was thinking, why can't I freeze water, writ dye mix water, and then put the ice on it? I looked around online. I never found it. So I, can, I, I don't know that I dreamed this up, but I certainly didn't find it anywhere online. So I took this fat quarter of Belfast Amsterdam Blue, which I didn't like. To, to me, it was very green, and I didn't want my mermaids in green water. And I made a tray of ice, brown ice, out of the tan writ dye, di wet the, the fabric, wadded it up, put it on a metal, I have a round metal rack like you would put cookies on, put it in a round bowl so it could drip down into the bowl. And this is my end result. So... Um, it's uh, it's pretty wrinkled. I did press it, but now I know it's ugly. You don't have to tell me. I already know. I don't know when I will ever want to stitch something that needs to go on like swamp water. But here's the thing: it worked. It worked. It worked to make ice out of dye and scrunch up the fabric and put the ice on it. And then I tucked a little bit of ice up under it. It was making a mess, so I wasn't touching the dye ice a whole lot. The dye itself didn't exactly want to freeze, so if you touch the ice, you might get a drop of very, you know, dye water on you. And I was just working um, in our downstairs. We have like a wet sink bar area, kitchenette kind of, and I was working in that little tiny stainless steel sink. So anyway, I know it's butt ugly. You don't even have to tell me. So I want you to see though, what's possible with that simple, I made, I think I would have not made the ice so brown. Watching how it was done with the powder though, hers came out so dark and then it lightened a lot. And this did lighten, it just, it started out an ugly color fabric and you know I don't know how much color sense I have <laughs> so if you tell me it's not ugly I'm pretty sure you're number one lying or number two color blind or number three the light in here is that bad or you know maybe really this is you can see there is a big splotch of not very dyed but you know that's okay it's what happens when you die I may be knowing more what how it's going to going to behave, I would have, I don't know. I don't know what I would have done. If I would have made sure I got a little more ice into that wadded spot, cause you know, it's all up like this. Anyway, that's what I did. I have pictures on my iPad. I'm not even gonna try to insert them because again, 15 minutes, this needs to go from my iPad up into the world of YouTube. Since I'm getting on an airplane tomorrow, I don't have time to mess around. So it's been fun. I will probably do a quick one from Florida because I have good internet in Florida. <laughs> uh, and But still, I'll just have my iPad. I'll have my phone. Who knows? I don't think I'll have that much to talk about. That's the whole key to that one. I'll be, But I will be working on uh, my winter sampler and hopefully make some impressive progress. So until then, I'll be back in a couple weeks. Bye.